You're now watching The Wash Daily. This past week, spokesperson for the House Majority Leader, Steady Hoyer, said that the reason why they promised to vote on the Moore Act and then decided to push it back for a little while was because they needed some more time to make it look like they were concerned about the COVID-19 pandemic before they started talking about legislation around expungement, legalization, and the creation of programs in communities disproportionately hit by the war on drugs. However, they do have time to vote for the SAFE Act, which protects banks from getting involved in the cannabis industry. Also news, top Illinois and Michigan officials give advice to with Pennsylvania Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman. If you do it the right way, you can really address social issues. You can turn it into a, a very good program for your state. You can generate a lot of income and do a lot of good. If you do it badly, then you get everybody mad and you break promises you can't keep and you get the multinational corporations running in and stealing all of the opportunities from your state. Now, the governor of Pennsylvania, Tom Wolf, is really, really looking for cannabis, really excited about having legal cannabis in the state and being able to utilize cannabis for the purpose of making up for the losses they've incurred from COVID-19. What they're looking to do is legalize cannabis, but also to do it in the best way possible that would have the best result for the entire state. Also in news, three California men were found guilty of trying to defraud investors of investments in their CBD scam company. The trio had required all of the shares to try to control the selling and trading of the company, which wasn't really doing anything. But they said it was a company that was actively trading CBD and cannabis related items, which it wasn't or hadn't been doing. Just a giant hemp hoax like the one in 1938 that convinced America that cannabis was a bad thing. Thanks for watching The Wash Daily.